Yaho YouTube. I am super Yankee and today's thought of the day we're gonna talk about having a good day now this was the topic that was on my mind when I did my Twitch stream how can we have a good day and I was thinking about it because you know state of mind is so important for how we filter information into our perception of reality and I was thinking you know what influences our state of mind how do we get into the right state of mind? Well, if you've watched some of the videos about state of mind, it's in preparation. But what if we don't prepare for the day that we want to have? What if we don't tell ourselves what feelings we want to experience? What if we just leave it all to chance? This what if tends to be the majority of our experiences, the majority of our days. The majority of our life predictability is this big what if we don't do it because I don't know if it's just you, but for many days, I've just woken up about 30 minutes before work and I just went straight to work, right? I took no prep for my day. I literally just threw my clothes on, brushed my teeth, not even brushed my teeth and just went straight to work. And I flew right into autopilot. I started my mind on this autopilot state of mind. And that didn't help me have the best day possible. So I think that in this video, what I want to talk to you about, what do I want to explain, is that if you want a good day, don't start your day on autopilot. Start your day conscious. Start your day in the present moment. Stop, breathe, decide what you want to feel and how you're going to get those, how you're going to get those feelings throughout the day. Because when you're conscious, of what you want, you can move in the direction of actually getting it. This is what the subconscious does for you. Take positive affirmations, for example. If you repeat a positive affirmation every day for 60 days, that thought is gonna be in your mind and perhaps you're gonna be able to attract and see opportunities in your day-to-day -day existence that are gonna allow you to move in the direction of achieving it. A lot of people do this, but with negative self-talk. A lot of people tell themselves that they're not good enough, that they don't deserve these opportunities, so that when the opportunities arise, they're blind to them, they can't see them, and then they believe that these things don't exist. Only mainly because they didn't believe that they could exist in the first place. This is the power of state of mind. State of mind is largely a subconscious process. And I think that's a really interesting thought right there. State of mind is usually a subconscious process that we use to filter information. That is a really cool thought. Anyway, YouTube, please tell me what you think. Leave me some comments, tell me what you think. How do you have a good day? How do you start your day off? I would love to know. I'm writing some research papers about it right now, some articles for publicunpositivity.com, and it's gonna be really great. We're gonna be working on this in the future. I think that we started a new habit today. We're gonna to see if it, ha if it holds any yield in the next couple, couple of weeks. And I'll get back to you with that later, in later videos. So that's the video for today. Smash that like button. Don't forget to do that. I love seeing likes. Usually I get one like. I don't know who it is, but thank you, whoever you are, liking my videos. It makes me really happy. Leave a comment because I love responding to comments with Genki Energy and Positivity. I need to do that more. I need more comments. I need to start commenting on my own stuff so that I can comment on myself and respond to my own comments. Subscribe to the channel. I really want to get to 10,000 before the end of the year. <laughs> it's hard, man. YouTube is hard stuff. But most importantly, share this video with your friends because we need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.